If you're only gonna know one knot, this is the one to learn, and here's why. Known as the taut line hitch, it has the incredible ability to slide down your line to loosen it, or slide up your line to tighten it up and increase tension, which can save you from undoing and retying other knots every single time you need to adjust tension. And cinching it up all the way like this pretty much takes the place of any other anchor knot, all the while being easy enough to tie even with massive gloves on. And that's just something you don't really think about until your hands are frozen solid and you're out there wishing you knew a knot that you could tie with your mitts on. And last but not least, the many variations you could add to it, like this quick release which I'll demonstrate in this video. Now, while it's most commonly used to get that perfect tension on a tarp, clothesline, or tent rain fly, there are a bunch of really cool uses that are way lesser known, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do those. But first, let's learn how to tie it. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use a two-toned rope, and we begin by wrapping around our object. Now take our working end and cross it over our standing or tension line. In the same direction, just continue and wrap completely around that tension or standing line. Make sure it's towards the inside of this loop here. Then follow it up with a second wrap again on the inside of that loop. And now our third wrap is gonna be below that loop, wrapping underneath itself. We then pinch these two here with one hand and with the other hand, grab the tag end, pull in the opposite direction, and that tightens it all up. So it's essentially just two wraps inside and one wrap outside, and you can remember it as two in, one out. And now to utilize the hitch, placing your fingers just below or above the knot and pushing on it will cause it to release its grip and allow it to slide. When we remove our hand, the friction will again bite down and the hitch locks in place. Now, if you've tied the hitch properly, you'll see these two lines going in opposite directions. If you've tied it improperly, you'll see them going in the same direction, just like this. And the reason lies in the direction of your third wrap. Instead of going the same way as the first two, in this case it's over, you went the opposite way, which is in this case under. But if it does come out like this, don't worry, you've actually tied the Magnus hitch. And it essentially does the exact same thing. It's a bit less secure, but not enough to really worry about. It's sort of just a different variation. Actually, there's technically a bunch of different variations. Some people like to double it up and put two wraps on the bottom with two wraps on the top, which technically works better on more slippery ropes. But what I've shown you is the very simplest way to tie it and it works really well. So just find one way that you like best. One variation, however, is definitely worth knowing. It's adding a quick release to your hitch. So we'll do our first two inside wraps exactly as normal. And now when it comes to this outside wrap here, we're gonna pinch the rope into a bite. Slide that bite through and tighten it all just like before. Now this quick release variation will work exactly like the normal taut line. It slides and then bites down with friction and when you wanna release it, you just pull the tag end and the whole thing comes loose. Now one more problem you might run into is when you have just way too much cordage. Yes, you technically can just loop it all through and pull and loop it all through, but it's really ineffective. So to solve this, we don't need the end of the line to tie the taut line. We could grab a loop and wrap it through exactly like the normal steps, two in and one out, but using a bite of rope, which is a loop of rope. This is called the taut line on a bite and it works exactly the same. And this just really speaks towards the knot's versatility. There's so many ways you could use this hitch and you could always come up with brand new ideas. I frequently use this as an adjustable hanger to hold my pot over a fire, lowering it as the coals die down to get the perfect boiling point. And combining this with a prusik hitch, you could slide it right out of the way when that water's all boiled. And when it comes to tarp tieouts, this is where the hitch really shines. You can just simply slide to tighten that tarp down, and then when you need to loosen and maybe raise up the corner, say putting a stick underneath, just like this, in just a matter of seconds, you just slide that taut line back, and that stick is tightened and your tarp corner is raised. And the same goes for a tent rainfly. Let's say your pegs can't dig in, so you use two rocks instead. You just use the taut line here, slide that down, and it tightens the whole thing up. And my favorite part is you could keep the guy lines attached to your tarp and use that taut line to snug it all up and keep it for storage. Here's what I mean. The guy lines on my tarp are always connected with the taut line hitch. And when I'm packing up my tarp, I simply coil my rope just like this. I slide one end through the loop of that taut line and now cinch it up on itself and it's all one compact bundle. On my next trip, I pull out my tarp, pull on the bundle and it's already pre-connected with the taut line. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. I read all of your comments personally and you guys have been leaving some really good ones and making this all super worth it for me. 
So thank you very much. I'm DJ from The Bear Essentials, and thanks for stopping by.